this is cute like i would definitely wear it like this <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can get another look out of this headband wig which is in a ponytail right now. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hide your headband on your headband wig and get a half up half down look. Well we're going to be trying today because I have not yet tried it but I know exactly what to do so I can show you guys how it's supposed to be done and I hope it comes out looking good. This is the same headband wig from my first video. I'll link that up here so you guys can go watch that of my first impression. As you guys know from that video who've seen it, I love this wig. So if I could do another hairstyle with it, it's going to be even more my favorite. So I'm just going to take my ponytail down. And then slide the wig off. Remember to be careful when doing this because it will pull your hair. <laughs> All right. Ooh. So we're gonna just set this right here. All right, so now we're gonna take this bun down and I'm going to part it in half so we can get the half up, half down look. Trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion. Okay, now we got our hair down. Um, my part probably isn't going to be that straight, but that's okay because I don't think you're going to be able to see it. And also, it's really hard to part my hair when it's curly, but we're going to do our best and just part it to get the half up, half down. Babe, I could keep that same energy. When you go low, I go low too. But you'd rather stay high, I know you. Can we stay high, babe? So, <laughs> this is gonna be as good as it gets right now. So, I'm going to put the back back into a ponytail. So when you're putting your hair in the half up, half down, make sure there's a little bit less on top because you still want kind of a big chunk, you know, to put your wig on your head to stick the combs in, you'll see. I hope mine is enough. I had to bring a little bit more down, but we're gonna try and see right now. I might have a little bit too much up top, but it's my first time, so we're gonna see if it works. Anyway, just so I can show you and going to stick the combs into the back of my hair where the ponytail is make sure they're tight and then put the bottom combs in as well still just headband the wig. Alright, so I'm going to spray it down just because it looks a little bit dry. Okay. Now we're gonna pull. are in good so you want to kind of cover your headband with the hair from the back as well like don't pull up the too much of the sides unless you can kind of cover so I'm gonna kind of leave this down I'm just gonna brush my hair up with the top half this part is going up told you so extra but I know I'm the same me in spite of my trauma give me what i need instead of the drama because when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so hard on the flip side so tell me we'll be on a day babe i could keep that same energy when you go low i go low too but you'd rather 
stay high, I know you. So I kind of have a lot of hair left over, but I'm going to wrap this around once I get it to how I want it in the front. I'm about to try and lay my edges a little bit better. And I'm using pattern again. And this is the stronghold gel. Okay, so I'm gonna just try to fix up the front of my hair a little. This is my hair that's left out and I'm just going to try to wrap that around. See, this is why um, you probably want to leave less hair out, which is what I should have did because now I have like this much. Since I have more hair left out on top, I'm just going to split it in half and then wrap it around. Wrap it around my rubber band. And then just bobby pin it. I would suggest to leave less of your hair out up top because I took kind of like a big chunk of my hair and you know I put brought it up top instead of putting it down so which left a lot of my hair to blend with the wig so the wig in the back you have to really make sure those combs that are stuck under your bun because at first it, it's not filling like as secure as wearing it up here as the headband. Make sure there's more hair on the bottom so you can make a bigger bun to secure the wig into. And you have less hair to worry about up top because I had to wrap my hair and there's still hair left out. So yeah, but it is a cute style. I think that it would be easier to blend my hair with straight hair because I don't have to worry about my hair getting frizzy or shrinkage or I just put less hair out up top like I said and it'll work just fine. This is cute like I would definitely wear it like this. I really would. This is the half up half down with the headband wig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned another style to use with your headband wig. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Could go all night. Could go all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'ma follow your lead.